Qt gives you two ways to build UIs. C++'s widgets that feels like you're coding in 2005 and QML which looks like you're designing with CSS. Here's how they compare in two minutes. Qt widgets are pure C++. You build everything, windows, buttons, sliders, just like this. You create an instance of that UI object, you set on the parameters, you set the values needed, and don't be scared. All these UI components will look closely similar to how this looks, and you would get easily used to this. And also, you have a drag and drop system, so you don't have to write directly C++ code for this UI, but you still need to have C++ for the connections and everything. It's stable, deeply customizable, and perfect for desktop tools. Think spreadsheets, contract panels, IDs, and similar tools you can easily build with Qt widgets. But if you want animation, well, in that case, you better bring coffee and a therapist. Then there is the QML, the cool kid. It's declarative, styled like CSS, and it speaks fluent JavaScript. This is how it looks, and in, if you need animation, it's just one line. And when to use widgets when you and when to use Qt widgets when you want pure C++ logic, heavy desktop apps, or a native look on Windows 98. And you need QML if you want a react like fluid animation fluid gui and touch friendly gui then QML is your thing well qt gives you the choice which is for power and control QML for style and speed pick the right one or argue with the strangers on reddit this has been qt versus QML. catch you next time